having successfully performed a cannula cricothyroidotomy or cannula tracheotomy and reoxygenated the patient, the anesthetist may then use a Seldinger technique to insert a 5mm internal diameter cuffed Melker tube. Firstly, the guard wire is inserted through the cannula that is in situ and the cannula removed. While stabilizing the trachea with a non-dominant hand, a size 10 scalpel is used to make a vertical incision into the skin and airway, making sure the scalpel follows the path of the wire. It is important to check the wire moves freely in the incision to ensure the incision is directly adjacent to the wire and to exclude skin tags. The Melker tube and dilator assembly should then be re-threaded onto the guard wire. The assembly should be gripped in such a way as to prevent the dilator from moving back into the Melker tube when the assembly is advanced. Moderate force is required to advance the Melker tube over the wire, through the skin and into the airway. Therefore, it's important to use the non-dominant hand to stabilize the trachea while advancing. It is common to feel two distinct pops when inserting the melker successfully. Having advanced the assembly until the point the wings touch the neck, the wire and dilator should be removed. The cuff can then be inflated and oxygenation and ventilation be commenced. Incorrect grip on the Melker assembly may cause the dilator to move back in the Melker tube, making the insertion of the assembly very difficult and traumatic. An incision not directly adjacent to the wire will be of no benefit when introducing the Melker assembly. Only an incision exactly along the path of the wire will facilitate easy insertion of the assembly. Angling the Melker assembly downwards or at a too steep angle may result in failure of insertion and excessive damage to the airway. If insertion of the Melker assembly proves difficult, and takes too long, re-threading of a 14 gauge inside cannula over the guard wire is always possible as a means of maintaining oxygenation of the patient. Note that failure to successfully insert the melker is usually due to poor incision. <laughs>